That was very successful, one-handed. Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. Today we are headed off to Disneyland. It's about 2.05 on a Friday, so hopefully the traffic won't be too bad, but we are meeting up with Drew's family. They come to visit a lot. It's like his cousins and aunts and uncles and stuff. I am looking for my bag, sorry. And um, we're gonna head over there and have a little Disney evening. So that'll be really fun, have some family time. I was supposed to be doing jury duty this week, but I actually got ended up getting dismissed. So didn't have to do that. So I've just been trying to like catch up on some work and stuff and oh, there's the way it was. Layla just went outside. She's good to go. Are you gonna miss us? We're gonna miss you. We're only going for the evening, so we won't be gone for that long. <clears throat> gonna bring some sunglasses. I'm gonna bring my phone. Got a sweatshirt for later. I'm gonna wear my Disneyland sweatshirt or my Mickey sweatshirt that I thrifted in Japan. So that'll be really fun because it's gonna be chilly later. It was supposed to be like really cloudy today and then the um, sun came out. So that yeah. was interesting. I'll drive us. Okay. Passenger princess. And then you my can passenger also, princess you're gonna, like, era. Vlog and, you know. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah, I know. My stomach hurts a little bit. It's okay. It's just IBS things. Anyway. That's what we're doing, that's the plan, and we're headed off to Disneyland. I haven't been there since, I think the rainy day I had with Sierra, maybe? And Drew hasn't been there since like, I wanna say January, when we met up with my friend Beth and her husband Nick. So it's been a while, so let's do it. like an 80s mom. Look at them compared to the cup next to them. 
Drew's going faster. Oh, that's weak, guys. Faster! Why are we on it? Harry <laughs> did it. No! Highway one. Highway one. Highway one. Highway one. Goodbye, Disneyland. Bye. We will see you soon. morning besties it's the next morning this is what we're working with feeling a little a little crusty but overall like oh last night was so much fun drew and i were just laying in bed like talking about last night and laughing so hard and like oh my god it was so much fun we had a great time um we are getting ready to do our typical saturday morning routine which is like go for a walk get some coffee and i remembered that i ordered these underwear from amazon this is kind of random but i wanted like to test it out and then maybe thought we could test it out together so i love and i'm obsessed with ashley lopez or super ashley 127 on instagram and she recommended this pair of underwear that is like a seamless underwear and she said that it doesn't show underneath her workout leggings and i was like i need to be the judge of that so i was about to get dressed and i have this like i think this is an old navy pair of bike shorts and I love it, but I do feel like it shows my underwear a lot. So let's see. Cause I like, as much as I wanna be like a G-string thong girly all the time, I have like bits down there, you know? And sometimes I just want some coverage. So let's let's test it out. I gotta bring Layla inside first though, hold on. <laughs> Are you out of your barking? You ready to come inside? Also look, our little like bush thingy out here is blooming and it's so pretty. You ready to go back inside? Okay, let's go. All right, here is the underwear. It comes in a pack of like four, I think. And I took one out just to look at it. And it's just like a nice seamless. It also does look like there's a good like fabric lining. So it's nice that there's like some fabric there. You know what I mean? So, all right, we're gonna put these on and test them out. Okay, so you will have to let me know if you see anything. I can see like a tiny line. But it does actually seem pretty good coverage. I um, feel kind of weird about showing my butt this much, but like, it seems like pretty good coverage and like not a lot of lines. Let me turn on this light. I don't know if that helps at all. I think it's pretty good. I definitely do see a little bit of a line, but like, I guess it's a lot better than if I were to wear regular underwear. So I'll leave a link to those down below in case you're interested. It's not like an affiliate link or anything, but um, yeah, not bad. All right, we are going to walk and get some coffee. I think we're gonna maybe do blue bottle this morning. We're like in our blue bottle era right now. We go through phases with coffee shops, but um, blue bottle sounds really good. So I'm gonna throw my hokas on, get on a sweatshirt and then go get some coffee. that has been such a lovely morning it's such a great way to start the day it's already 12 30 now but we just like walked and got our coffee we walked around the neighborhood for a little bit we ended up sitting out on the patio drew was on the phone with his mom and i was playing my switch and like i got some sun it was so relaxing i just like threw on a different jacket and some different shoes and we're actually gonna try i need to put on my makeup i'm gonna do like a quick 
three minute makeup routine in the car, but we're actually gonna try um, Din Tai Fung, which is a restaurant that has like dim sum and stuff. And um, I've heard such good things on TikTok. And there's always like a super long wait. So we thought that maybe if we tried to go for lunch, it wouldn't be so bad. And so we called and they said it's only like 30, 45 minutes. So we can just like walk around and shop while we're waiting. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. So one thing about me is that if something is trending on TikTok, I will try it. I want to try it. I want to see what the hype is all about. I want to try the recipe. I want to try the product. I want to try the pickle wrapped in cheese, whatever. It's just very fun for me. So I'm going to test it out. Somehow I did it. I did my makeup in the car. <laughs> this is a not like the most mall appropriate outfit, but like it's fine. It'll do. We're in a line. I'm ready for some buns. Some cucumber salad, all of it. We are ordering so much food. Like, I think we just ordered eight things. So, um, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Cucumber salad. Let's try it. All right, cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, this is chicken shaolong bao. We were gonna get the pork one, but we got something else with pork. We also got a honey lemonade and a lychee black tea, and his black tea has a whole lychee in it. Yeah, so good. Take a bite out of it. Oh, it already is punctured. Hi, thank you so much. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So good. Oh my god, there's more kimchi pork dumplings. This is gonna be so much food. <laughs> We got some wontons. I think these are pork wontons. No, they're chicken. Oh, they're chicken. Yeah. These were pork. These are chicken. Oh my goodness. We're almost done, I swear. It's hot, so. <laughs> Only two more things after this. Now we got noodles and spicy sauce. That's the last one. This is the last entree. Yeah, promise. And then we got dessert. Now for the grand finale chocolate and mochi shell on bow. I am so excited. Oh my god, look at that. I'm going to enjoy every moment of this. Got our leftovers. These are gonna be consumed for dinner or maybe lunch tomorrow. Oh my god, it was so good. I was uh, getting in the car and wasn't filming, but Drew goes, it was tasty. It literally was so good. I'm gonna give it like nine out of 10. Like it was really, really good. Definitely worth the hype. Cause you know some of those places yeah. you're like, Wait a minute. Yeah, there were a couple things that we were just like, meh, it's okay. It's not like the um, buns that we got, the vegetable pork, pork buns, yeah. I think they were, or vegetable chicken, something like that. That was just okay. Um, not my fave, but the freaking spicy wontons, the noodles and spicy sauce, the chicken zhao long bao. I'm sure the pork one's really good too. Um, the freaking chocolate zhao mm, long so bao good. at the end. <gasps> That was both Drew's and my favorite thing. Probably boom boom. <laughs> That's a love on the spectrum reference. There's one episode where someone's friend was drinking a smoothie and I think it was called strawberry boom boom. And he goes, mmm, strawberry boom boom in my mouth. I love so, that guy. Yeah, we are obsessed with him. And Drew and I say that regularly. Anyway, um, yeah, it was so, so good. So if you're near a Din Tai Fung, it was amazing. The service was really good. Like everyone was so nice. They like the friendliest, yeah. The friendliest restaurant like Especially in LA. In we Hawaii. went to the Century <laughs> City location. Yeah, it was great for like a lunch date. And now we're gonna go home and nap. Because we are still recovering from last night. And by recovering, I mean, it's, this, this is literally, yeah. What happens when you're in your thirties and you go to bed late? 
like suddenly you're hungover from that. It's wild. Right, we're home from lunch and I actually got a couple things delivered from Amazon that I ordered yesterday because I just want to like finish up some things around the house that we never did. Like we've lived here for God, 10 months now I think. And there's just still some things that like I've been meaning to do. So the first being we have this freaking weird outlet in our kitchen that's above the kitchen sink, like above the window. I don't know what it would have been for back in the day, maybe a clock or something like that, like an electric, I have no idea. But it's very bizarre and we wanna cover it up. And we've been like thinking like, what do we put up there? So we thought maybe a clock. So I did order this cute little clock because I have been trying to look for at like flea markets and all over the place for some kind of clock. But this one is really cute and it looks kind of like retro. Like I love the, I don't know, whatever this is, aluminum or something. But like I think it's adorable. So I don't know. I don't think it's big enough to cover the area. I tried measuring it, but we'll see. So that's a maybe that might end up going back. I also got some flameless LED candles that are like different from the sort of Harry Potter-esque ones that we use during Halloween and Christmas. And these are gonna go inside of these sconces that we got. We got these sconces. No, I got them at the Long Beach flea market and I haven't gotten to hang them up yet. Um, so we're gonna do that today. And then also we bought this piece of art. I'll show it in a minute. When we went to the Melrose Trading Post like a few weeks ago, it was, it was like $5, $10, something like that. The piece of art, mm -hmm. but there, it's like a plastic frame and there's nothing to hang it with. Like there's no hooks on the back of it or anything. So I ordered this picture hanging kit and it has like some wire. And so I think we're gonna like try to figure out how to attach some stuff on it. And then I also got, oh, in case of emergency, got some E6000. That's just good for like crafting and all that kind of stuff anyway. Um, and then we got some more utility hooks. These are like a kind of heavy duty wall hook that we've been using to hang every single thing in our apartment. Cause in case you didn't know, the walls are plaster. So we literally can't drill in them. And you know, Velcro command hooks and things like that aren't strong enough to put it up on its own. 60 pound limit, a lady. <laughs> There's like a picture of a woman like hanging on it. I'm like, that's a lie. Anyway, all right, first things first, let's see if this clock works. Cause this is the bane of my existence. It drives me crazy. 12 seconds later. So yeah, um, that's not gonna work. I don't think <laughs> it's been two seconds. That's okay, we'll work on the other art and we'll just see where we can get with this. Candles, waiting on the batteries to come for those. Oh, they look so good. Finally, a solution for this wall. <laughs> it looks so much better than it did. Wow, amazing. So this is what we've come up with for now um, because that doesn't cover the outlet. Ignore that, we need to just wash that off. But essentially that would ideally go in the middle right here, but it doesn't cover the whole area. So we hung these up for now. What we're gonna do is just the next time we're at the Melrose Trading Post, get another one of these vertical ones and just put it there because that's just what we have. So anyway, <laughs> it's not perfect at all, but at least when I'm talking now, you'll just see that instead of this like random hole and an outlet. Anyway, I'm tired. We stayed up super late last night watching. We binged the entire Boston Bomber Marathon um, like Netflix docuseries. It was really intense and really crazy that it's already been 10 years since that happened. So crazy and, and traumatic and yeah, watching that was really intense, but it was very good, so I recommend it. So anyways, I'm just like exhausted. So we're just gonna have a couch day. We're gonna relax, but we're just trying to get a couple things done around the house, clean a little bit, you know, typical Sunday thing. But I'm so relieved to at least have this stuff like on the walls and then we'll just mess with it later. 